about eating. It's a favorite talk topic of kids' songs, <laughs> and really, just singing them makes me hungry, uh, mm -hmm. as long as they're not eels. Mm. And uh, but you know, you know the peanut butter sandwich song, and there's there's uh, you know eels, and there's uh, fish bones, and all sorts of yummy things that <laughs> that uh, the kids just love to get their fingers into and stick into their 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 mouths. So. Oh, this is a song. Oh, there's another. Yeah, this is another really juicy tidbit that I'm sure most of you have tried at some point during your life. I know I have. By mistake. <laughs> <coughs> Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I think I'll go eat worms. Great big juicy ones. Eeny weeny squeeny ones. See how they wiggle and squirm. Cut off their heads and suck out the juice and throw all their skins away. Nobody knows how I survive on worms three times a day. Nobody likes me, everybody hates me, I think I'll go eat worms. Great big juicy ones, eeny weeny squeeny ones, see how they wiggle and squirm. Bite off their heads and suck out their juice and throw all their skins away. And nobody knows how I survive on worms three times a day. You must have supper with us sometime. Really, it's an experience. <laughs> There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms in the ground. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms in the garden. Uh, hello, hello. Guess what? This bitch is out of fucking jury service. I'm fucking free and I fucking hate myself, but it's fine because I'm out. Uh, yeah, um, we managed to get it done today. Um, so that's, that's that. <laughs> um, feels kind of weird to be done with it after over a month, but, um, kind of don't know what I'm, well, I'm not going to go back to work for a few days because I'm wiped mentally. <clears throat> What I am going to be doing is streaming this freaking game. And yes, yes, I know, I know the game looks small on the screen. It's just like that for the menus. I did a bunch of testing. Um, I, the, for all the fact that there is both a Steam release of this and a community-made, like, modernized patch, patched version that has more resolution options than the official Steam release. Um... It seems that nothing can be done about the menus specifically. Everything else works fine. It's just the menu. <coughs> um, yeah, we're in semi-uncharted territory here. Um, in terms of streaming, anyway, because this one... This is the first Command & Conquer game uh, that I will be streaming in the series that does not have a completely modern release. Um, 
I was also like, like I said, I did testing just to get my streaming, make sure the streaming setup worked for this, and I think I have played this game, but I couldn't summon from my memory like how much of it I've played. I was recon like, uh, recognizing like units and stuff, but I feel like maybe I didn't finish the campaigns or something, which is weird because like I'm generally not a person who gives up on stuff like that, but <clears throat> anyway. Here we are. Um, I guess there's nothing to do but do it. Uh, we are going to go in the GDI nod order. Twenty thirty. Solomon, to mistake me for a corpse. My judgment is sound, Kane, and I'm not afraid of ghosts or you. Perhaps you should be. I've seen the future, our Tiberian future, and as you watch this battle just beginning to unfold, I've already seen the final act. It is my destiny to lead the way for all mankind. Mankind has forgotten you, Kane. <laughs> Signal, sir. He's in the southwest. Get me McNeil. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> and they really punched up the production values. Fuck me. Also, I feel like... I'm getting... I'm getting real... Starship Troopers vibes from this, fuck. <laughs> Also, the cutscene audio seems way quieter than everything else. General Solomon on Secure Channel 4. Good to see you again, Mac. I wish it were under better circumstances. It's a light show, all right. It's more than that. It's Kane. Sir? We lost contact with Phoenix at 0800 Zulu. I'm not losing that base, Mac. I'll give you a squad of our best jump troopers to clear the way for your arrival. Good luck, Commander. Game's afoot. Let's kick some ass. Sweet. Okay. So I have played this first mission like a bunch of times just in testing, but I hadn't I had not let myself watch that cutscene. And that went kind of hard, I can't lie. <clears throat> yeah, like, you can probably tell that in-game audio is way louder than the cutscene audio, and I don't know what to do about it. Oh no, run, little dude. Yeah, the, the, the voices there are, like, way quieter as well. Um, that's really annoying. I don't know if I... Hmm. I might just... 
Data received indicates that you are a threat. Prepare for sterilization. Okay, don't do that. Okay, I'm just going to turn all that down. And turn... Hold on, give me a second. I seem to love playing games that freeze on tab out. <laughs> okay. I turned up the um, the game audio in OBS. Okay, so I just gotta build a refinery and barracks again and then go sort this out. Um, so, like I mentioned, there's a Steam release of this, which is the, like, um, which is, like, the, from the CNC Master Collection. Um, but there is also, like, uh, from quite a while ago, like, a community-made sort of patched version of it just to make it compatible with modern systems <clears throat> and I tested both because the and like the this game is technically freeware by the way so that's like above board even if it's not like officially endorsed by Westwood I'm not going to get in trouble for saying that but um the what am I trying to say um the community made patch seem to have like more resolution options um like the official one was pretty much 640 by 480 800 by 600 and that's it um and i wouldn't necessarily have minded playing that except that it treats your mouse as if you are playing within that area within your screen and I'm not setting up an auto hotkey script to adjust my mouse sensitivity just for this game. <laughs> um, and I could have played like the, the funny and the funny thing about those resolution options though is it does actually like zoom the view. So like if I were playing at the default resolution, this would be like way further zoomed in. Um, and I could play at 1920 by 1200. That is, um, that is an option that is available to me. But if I do that, everything is, like, actually microscopic. And I'm not, not dealing with that. Like, I don't even know if it would be watchable. Even this might be pushing it. Yeah. Also, the game speed options in this game turns out are really annoying. Because this is, like, one. But if I go up to the next one... It's like a bit too fast. You can see this dude's like zipping around. Kind of wish there was something in between fast and faster, but we work with what we've got, you know. Destroy all my forces in the area. I'm annoyed about that cutscene audio volume thing because now I I did a bunch of testing of like audio levels, and now that's just thrown out because. The cutscene audio is going to be inaudible. I thought, hello. I act surprised, but I knew that happens. Um, I just have to hope that my intuition is good. I have to get used to the fact that I can't queue up more than five units at a time again. Where are you coming from? Unit ready. The production facilities are here. Unit ready. Now yeah, Wolverine's good. Get that guy. Training. Unit ready. I do Unit remember boss. the fruity hand Unit of Nod. Ready. You know the is he, you know, Unit hand boss. of Nod. Unit ready. Maybe that's why the Brotherhood loses because they spend ready. so much extra money making their barracks look cunty. Training. Unit ready. Unit ready. Is that it? Good. Accomplished. Oh yeah, the cyborg guys. Mm. 
Yeah, so it looks like all these screens are tiny. I, get, I do not know why they couldn't fix this. In either release, by the way, but... Oh well. Oh, um... I get to put my name in! Nice job, McNeil. Nod is on the run. And I wish we could save the same for Phoenix. We just recovered this transmission. Smile for the camera, Commander. We must look our best when the Brotherhood comes to visit. The least you could do is wear a tie. That drug-dealing animal hey, is... Yeah. King of the eye candy trade. He's been dealing that poison for years. Looks to me like he's his old best customer. Get back there, take out the SAM sites, then destroy the Nod base. The Ava unit has the data. Ooh, straight into it. <clears throat> Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. No, don't. Reinforcements have My arrived. guys. Okay, hang on. I'm going to continue adjusting audio on the fly. Um. We tire of your insignificant defiance. Like, clearly the cutscene volume isn't voice volume. Okay, and I'm gonna move that slider up a bunch. How is that looking on the levels? I'm just gonna have to keep trying this, to be honest. Water's out and clear. Unit ready, sir. Is that all right? I think that might be a little loud. Hang on. It's fine. Even professional streamers struggle with the fucking sir. volumes, don't they? Yes, sir. Yeah. Nobody actually knows yeah. how to stream. Out. Oh yeah, I, uh, I apparently uh, looked at the wiki a little, and apparently. Commander Solomon, like the dude kind of leading the cutscenes, is the player character from Tiberian Dawn, which is some sweet bit of continuity. So, so him saying, like, I'm not scared of ghosts, Kane, has a bit of a, a bit more weight because he literally killed Kane. <laughs> and I think the time gap is like 19 years. That's like Earth years, and presumably Earth's, uh, despite the ecological collapse that uh, that is currently ongoing on planet Earth in this game, I think that is that uh, Earth's. Oh my God! Lots of blue here. Um, Earth's cycles around its sun have not been affected. The vibes are very distinct. Between the music and everything else, I ha I really have no idea. Like, I like I know this game a little, just in terms of like lore and place in a timeline. But I really know nothing about like, and I know a little bit about CNC four. I think that that had like, it was it's a little controversial because it doesn't have real base building, um, which I think. Is supposed to be because like Earth is so fucked by CNC4 that like you can't even make buildings anymore. But I have no idea what's in between. Like I know nothing about CNC3 whatsoever. So it's going to be very interesting when we get to that. But first, I've got to deal with this. So I've got to destroy some Sam sites, right? Uh, oh, okay. Orders reduced. The Nod base must be destroyed. Significant civilian population must be evacuated by Orca transport. Oh, Orcas are the transports now, not the um, the the fighter helicopters. For the transports, you can safely land all seven SAM sites. Okay. Begin building a base. Destroy all SAM sites. Destroy the Nod base. I like having my objectives laid out in clear bullet point fashion. Got it. Loud and clear. Moving out. 
Construction Can I fit you here? No, but if Sir? I get the... Okay, I'm going to wait to place the second one so I can get the... Um... Because it looks like there's a bigger Tiberian field. I don't really want to put a harvester up here. That Tiberian will not last long. Hey, nice thing about um, the massive ecological damage that the Earth has suffered. There's more Tiberium for me to mine. So I think those two SAM sites that we already destroyed do count um, towards the seven that we have to get. So there should be five left to run the map. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, I think this is the way we have to go. Uh, what is... I mean, obviously disc throws throw discs, but... What is the qualitative difference between a disc thrower and a light infantry? Riddle me that. Oh yeah, I know GDI and that. Well, I think it's just the GDI have um, this like component thing where you have like modular buildings. Like their power plants also have these little plugs on them, and you can put a. You don't make like power plants and advanced power plants in this game. It's that you can just upgrade your existing ones with two extra little spinny nub things. Oh, hello. You escaped my notice. Get his ass. Okay, Wolverines are relatively nippy. The 3D terrain and vehicle models is reminding me that I do at some point want to play um, Total Annihilation on this channel. Now there's a fucking throwback. I might actually make a third refinery because I can't keep up production on this. Then again, I may not need to make any more units. Let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, right. Um, where the frick do I go? Oh, maybe I have to make... Uh, units that can go across the water. Because I think there is a hover... MRLS, I think it's called, that can... Um, go across water. We'll see. You get the blue Tiberium. Nope, just Wolverines. Okay, we just have to go south. What are you shooting at me, little rockets? It seems like two harvesters is enough to sustain Wolverine production, at least for the time being. I don't think there's going to be anything here, but I should check for any straggly units. God, I hope the audio is at a good level. I really am just eyeballing it on the OBS audio levels at the moment. I'm also going to be annoyed if it turns out that... Like, the cutscene audio was on one of those three sliders. It's like sounds or something. But hopefully it is just nothing and I have relatively equalized it by fiddling. Okay, it does not actually seem like two harvesters is enough to sustain Wolverine production. Shh. 
shoot him. See, I'm, I'm having trouble clicking units even at this resolution. This is like a sort of midway. This is like 1152 by something. As opposed to, you know, the minimums or maximums that I talked about. It's not that bad. It's not whining. The, the reused Tiberian Dawn death sounds, though. I guess it's. I guess that's another little nice piece of continuity, right? Oh, damn it! I I did also fiddle with the key bindings, but it seems that although there is a key bind for um like go to last radar thing. I cannot assign space as a shortcut key, and it remains bound to, um, and space remains bound to, you know what, I might, uh, I can't, you can't set it to, like, control or shift or anything either, because those are strictly modifier keys, it's, like, hard-coded. Couldn't, couldn't fix that in the community patch. Loud and clear. Where are the rest of you? Got it. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Start to turn up the volume for myself, to be honest. You got it. You got it. You got it. Loud and clear. Sir? You got it, you got it, you got it. Loud and clear. Where you at? Where you, you, you at? You Hello. I'm on it, sir. Infantry reporting. Oh, stupid yeah, disc throwers can't reach it. Loud. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Oh, these are those beefy cyborg guys. Yeah. I do like how the infantry units have this kind of pudgy look to them. It's sort of slightly cartoony because they've got the outlines. I know that the infantry is sprites, whereas the vehicles are 3D models. Are they getting into this slowly? God, harvesters are small in this game, actually. Oh my god, that guy got fucking incinerated. Okay, get the... Get the hand and nod. Okay, I was like, I feel like I'm down a radar map, but I didn't actually have the option to make one, to make a radar tower. So it's just scrolling like a noob for me. There's a part of me that wondered if I should try and capture the Tiberium Silos, but I don't think it's worth the time. Oh, stop trying. Yes, sir. Good as done. Damn it. I should maybe try and figure out how yeah, to infantry report. I'm on it. To set sir? go to radar event two, but I can't be able to think of one right now. I'm on it.
Um, I think I've got like five samocytes, maybe four so far. Oh, okay. They, they got sore for cold feet. And also, you don't get dudes out of selling structures anymore. Wow, in the grim dark future of the 41st century. Shit sucks, apparently. You don't even get men from your buildings anymore. That's austerity. That's 19 years of conservative government. I'm pretty sure this is, like, what the UK looks like in Children of Men. Well, this is only, like, 16 years from the current human year, anyway. Doesn't seem that far-fetched. Total economic collapse. Um, everything is more expensive and also worse somehow. Did I say economic collapse? I meant ecological collapse. Okay, sweet. Oh, right, the civilians are here. What would have happened if I destroyed this? Would that have been an auto-lose? Wow, three guys. I kind of... I know I knew shit was rough, but I didn't think that things were this bad. This is how they fought three people. They don't even fill your transport. Like, come on. I, like, I, like, I just made more people than were in that settlement. This does raise an interesting question, that if I can apparently build a barracks and just make people out of thin air, can't they do the same thing for the civilians? Okay, the volume is a bit more even now. Oh, hey, it's showing a disc thrower in action. That's kind of cool. And the game fucking crashed. <laughs> the game crashed! Oh my god, don't do this to me, please. First off, I have to make sure OBS actually sees the game. Okay, it does. <sighs> Boy. This is this is what we're doing now, eh? Oh no, don't make me. Oh, do I really have to? <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'll try to make do it as quickly as I can. I actually just have to replay the first two missions again. Oh my god. If I find that it consistently crashes after that second mission, I'm going to be so mad. Also, I can't. These are in game cutscenes. I can't skip them. It's cool that this cyborg dude just gets blown up by these drop pods, apparently. Okay, can't skip that either. Did it? Hang on. It didn't like forget my sound changes. No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait for those to come in, and then I'm just gonna go blitz their base. It's 
kind of neat that they have these, like, like, these... I also tested in some, like, skirmish battles, which are, like, multiplayer, but not. It's, like, against, like, CPUs, and you can make these gates and proper walls and stuff, which is kind of cool. I don't know if that's a multiplayer-only thing, or if you get it in campaign missions just later. Get the blue stuff first. I should just be able to go kill them, right? Oh god, that explosion was so violent. He's fine. Okay, now you're just being silly. Okay, I, I was hoping that I could get away with just destroying those two buildings, but apparently I do need to get all the units. Okay. Uh, just go, go. Yes, we get it. I rule. Nice job. Okay, let's try and do this one quickly, and I'll also save right before the end, because I, I was hoping maybe there would be a saving grace that I at least get a, um, like, mission select screen, like they gave us in, uh, in CNC Remastered, but we do not get that. God, MCVs are Sir? slow in this game. On my way. New As I mentioned on Wednesday, I'm not planning to stream the rest of Amori. I think it's just not working for me as a stream game at this point. That does mean I'm not sure what I'm playing alongside this for the time being. I still don't know if I want to go back to Terraria just yet. I could play I could play something that I could just do for like one stream. Without it being like a, a whole thing, um, a lot of my friends are into this. I think it's a deck building roguelite called uh, it's called Balatro. That um and like Fauna was like streamed it as well. I didn't watch because I think I might actually stream me learning it for just like one stream. That could be amusing. A fun little Wednesday uh, sideshow. Please let this not crash after this mission. I'm going to be so upset if that's going to be the story of this game, or if I have, or if it turns out I have to play the Steam version or something with the much smaller resolution and the fucked mouse sensitivity. Like, I guess the the community patch probably focuses on... Um, it's probably more focused on making sure multiplayer works or something. Because that's generally people's inclination. There's, like, a whole separate launcher for the multiplayer for some reason. I haven't looked into it because I don't massively care. Okay, you're dealing. Uh, I need a power plant. 
Unit ready. Insufficient yes, funds. Sir. sir? Yeah. I was also watching some speed runs of C the CNC remastered single player campaign. Um, just because of the struggle I experienced, and you always want to be like, God, how do people who are good at games do this? Um, turns out a lot of it is like building about five barracks or hands of Nod, and then selling your construction yard and just pumping rifle dudes. Um, or doing some insane elaborate cheese where you just circumvent 98% of the mission. Why are you on hold? Ready. I did not tell you to do that. Unit lost. Sir? Unit ready. I'm going to three refineries this time, by the way, girlies. Okay, so if I send the all of these guys to attack something and then... Okay, so the guys that lose their target just move command to that spot. That's useful. Oh yeah, so uh, it, it was implied in what I was saying, but I have purchased the Master Collection. Meaning I do have most, if not all, of the other games ready to go when I get to them. Assuming they work. Um, hello? Oh, you... pretty neat that they've got like some proper 3D physics going on here. Like the terrain is 3D, it looks like. And um, the disc throwers are throwing like real projectiles that... Actually, I'm going to make another power plant first. Can you focus? Construction complete. What I wouldn't give for an attack move command, though, my god. That's that's still a few years in the future, apparently. Also, EA just recently, like, massively dropped the price on a bunch of CNC games on Steam. Um, prompting some speculation that more remakes were on the way, but it seems... That maybe wasn't the case. And apparently, but apparently they made it so that um, if you, like, already had some games in the series on either your EA or Steam account, um, and then you bought the Master Collection, your, the price of those would be deducted from your Master Collection purchase. Like, say what you will about EA, and there are many things to be said about them, but at least they're making these games accessible in some way. God, can you be less slow? Is it, is it like, is four refineries the meta? So I assume these guys are roughly equivalent to Wolverine. Oh, I may be about to lose all my dudes here. Oh yeah, I, re I do remember this. The cyborgs, like, when you, they get to really low health, they become just a torso that fucking crawls around. That's gnarly. Yeah, I'm losing all my guys. Or is it when they die, like, they have a second life? Yeah, they do. That's wild. So now this guy's just a fucking... His legs are gone and he's just a torso that pulls himself around with his arms. I think four refineries is the meta. Unit ready. Awaiting order. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders, sir. 
I'm gonna save just to make sure that even works. So that has saved, yes. Infantry reporting. Not got any Tiberium trees here to regrow this stuff. Awaiting orders. Building. Ah, uh, you know what, I might as well just go. See how the pathfinding is, I think these guys, yeah, it is better than the old games. As in there is actual pathfinding. Unit ready. Oh, I think this guy is now bereft of resources to gather. Okay, you're going. You know what the most cool thing ever would be if you could pick up a Tiberium refinery and move it closer to where the Tiberium is now because you mined the stuff that was immediately next to you? They should have thought of that. Construction complete. Um, okay, I'm going to see if you can find more stuff up north before placing this fourth refinery. I think yes, he's lost, man. Moving out. Unit yes, sir. I'm gonna keep searching Unit with him. Out. Sir, on my way. Building. Training. Waiting order. Moving out. Orders received. Sir? Unit ready. Are we all here? Not yet. Unit ready. Unit yes, ready. Infantry reporting. Waiting sir? order. Unit ready. Unit ready. Yeah, man, he's. Yes, sir. Out yes, of luck. Alright. Go. Get this insect. There we go. Oh my god, my shit broke. What the fuck? I needed to make more guys before doing that, apparently. What the fuck? I feel like I steamrolled them last time. What the hell is going on? Maybe I need to micro more. Maybe just throws on. Guys, you can just send in. I'm gonna send one dude up here properly. Yes, sir. Moving out. Awaiting orders. Unit reporting. Unit ready. Unit ready. These are 500. These are 120. Training. These are 200. Unit ready. Infantry reporting. Yeah, it looks like there's there ain't shit up here. Unit ready. I'd be worth selling this refinery just so that the other one, so that, that harvester doesn't waste its time traveling all that way up. Training. Unit ready. Waiting order. Infantry reporting. Unit ready. We got it. Infantry reporting. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Okay, it doesn't look like they rebuild their defenses or anything. Oh, there is some stuff. I don't get medics. Training. Unit lost. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Yeah. Yeah. Unit ready. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. You yes, get sir. this. On my way. Awaiting Unit out and ready. out and clear. Insufficient funds. Unit ready. I'm taking heavy fire. 
You'd think they'd have made it so that your guys don't take damage from Tiberium by now. But I guess that would be beside the point. Oh, that's not, that's not the term I meant, but... So can they still run my, run you over with vehicles? Is that still a thing that works? Ah, uh, just get that guys. Sorted out. Like I'm guessing disc throwers are more effective against heavy armor. Just generally logically go for like explosive stuff. Is anti armor and bullets or anti infantry, just in this, these games. Okay, I'm going to save again. So has that made to... Oh, okay. You can have different saves with the same name. Oh, hello! Selling all your buildings, despite me. Face destroyed. Objective complete. Infantry reporting. Clear. Sir? Uh, where is that the last one? Oh no, wait, there's one here. Oh my, I've see that's that's the answer to the Tiberium menace. Just harvest it all, and then there's no more Tiberium, and also you're rich. Also, hello, Tomahawkist. Good to see you. This is the second. I would be on the fourth mission, but it crashed after this, after the second one. So this is my second time playing it. So I'm saving and hoping if it crashes again, I can just, I can, well, hoping it doesn't crash again, frankly. Okay, we did do it. All right, let's see if it crashes again. Also, please, if, if the audio levels are really egregious, please let me know, because I found upon starting this, despite doing tons of work in advance to make sure the audio levels were okay, that the cutscene audio was super low. So I've had to adjust it all on the fly. Uh, don't feel bad, because I don't even remember fully if I've played this game. Um, I'm pretty sure I have, because I'm recognizing units, but... I do not think I completed this single player if I did play this before. Like, if I played this, it will have been a long time ago. Like, back when I got the 10th anniversary collection or whatever it was. The first decade collection, that's it. Which also had an embarrassing problem in Red Alert 2 where it would crash in the first mission. So here's the thing about that. Um, I did also get the Ultimate Collection, but this fan-made um, version of Tiberian Sun specifically has more resolution options. Um, whereas on the official one, you're limited to like 800 by 600, which I would tolerate, except that um, it treats your mouse as if it is within that area in your screen. 
So I'd have to make, I'd have to change my mouse sensitivity completely just to play this, and I'm not fucking with it. Forward scout reporting in north of sector nine. Okay, it didn't no crash. No sign of Vega and his men, but they've found something. I've never seen anything like it, sir. It's easily the size of one of our carriers, but. But what? I don't think humans made this, sir. Ooh. Pull back, soldier. <laughs> We're closing in on the site now. What's that recon tell us? Not forces have been detected six miles west of the site. It may be a possible staging area for Vega's troops. We take the staging base out first. It'd be a hell of a lot easier to get to the crash site. Ava, do you think they can hold out that long? Well, these cutscenes go so hard. Honestly, I love them. They really, they put that red alert Destroy money to good use. Destroying the base in this sector will prevent further removal of artifacts from the crash site. In addition, Nod will not be able to reinforce the site from this location. Oh, nice, they actually tell you what they it are. It is highly probable that the Brotherhood will attempt to remove technology from the crash site and store it at their technology center. Locate and secure the crash site, then capture the technology center. Um, I want to go to the crash site. It is site. highly probable that the Brotherhood will... And I presume that's what this is. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay, so this is just okay. Something unusual and large that crashed nearby. Uh, locate it. Capture any Nod technology centers. Uh, sweet. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Moving out. Infantry reporting. Sir. Ooh, a Titan. Awaiting orders. I have no idea what that means, though. For something called Titan, it's not yes, that sir. big. New construction options. I can definitely work with a low res game, don't get me wrong, but the construction complete. No, but the the mouse sensitivity thing is too much. New construction I, I don't get paid enough to deal with that. Um Alpha Light Post. Why am I hearing a yes, gate sir. going up and down? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep, that uh, seems to be about clear. about the extent of it in this mission. Oh, hello. Actually, you know what? I don't want to fight you out here. The actual most annoying thing about this game is that... The fast game setting is too slow, and the faster game setting is too fast. I would love it so much if there was something right in the middle of the two that was just a little bit snappier, but not dumbass fast, too fast for me, like the, f the faster option is. I am a baby. Well, I'm either a baby or an old bitch um, who no longer has that youngling reaction speed. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Tiberium doing my job for me. Okay, let's... Okay, why... Stop opening this gate. Whoa! Shotgun blast. So that's what Titans do. Construction complete. Okay, yeah, they just fucking blow those guys up. You, so you can crush infantry in this game. That's good to know. I wasn't sure. Ooh, I get medics now. There's probably a... I bet there's a bunch of, like, in the manual written lore about why the GDI, at least, has transitioned from, you know, treaded and tired vehicles to walkers. 
That's a yeah. That's about what I figured. Like the logic in past games has always been explosives are your like anti heavy armor stuff, and bullets is anti light armor. So infantry essentially. Okay, let's not. Let's not get too cocky. I'm gonna put the titans on a different hotkey. You know what? That's a good enough reason for me. I know already that medics cannot heal wolverines, but I am lumping them in with the wolverines in with my infantry anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On my way. Waiting orders. Training. Okay, I'm gonna make a radar tower though. What is you? Honestly true. I mean, I was making some uh, Warhammer 40k jokes earlier, and this this game is doing nothing nothing to divest me of the, the correctness of those remarks. It's slightly annoying that it automatically puts stuff on hold if you run out of money in the middle of production. Again, two refineries is enough. Sir? Sir? Unit ready. On my way. Sir? Unit ready. Sir. Orders. Yes, sir. Sir? Unit ready. Unit ready. Unit ready. Man, I kind of wish the GUI could have been scaled up a bit, though. <laughs> you mean the, um, the live-action CGI cutscenes? Because I think they're awesome. I'm actually just going to make a third refinery. Screw it. Oh, the cutscenes rule. I'm 100% here for them. It's really cool to see the progression just in production value. Okay, I'm going to stick, stick down here for now. I shouldn't have put my barracks there. That's kind of where I want a third refinery. Oh, hello. Oh, well, I found that gate that they were making a bunch of noise with, at least. Yes, sir. 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 Loud and clear. Unit yes, sir. Oh, those things turn into the lasers. That's cool. They, like, deploy into structures. I respect it. Yeah, I've heard that reception at the time was mixed, and a lot of, but a lot of the engine, the engineers, the issues were kind of fixed in patches. And it does seem like, in general, Red Alert 2 seems to be the most well regarded in the series, just off, just off my impressions, rather than Tiberian Sun. Um, oh, hello. What are you? I don't know if that was an important thing I needed to kill, or... Or what. Blow it up. Oh! Oh, okay, I thought they were the actual, like, laser turrets. So they're siege tanks. I mean, that is also cool. I'm always down. For that kind of nonsense. Yes, 
Um, you are destroying the bridge. Don't know if I should allow this. Yeah, yeah. New construction options. Building. Oh, I think I just heard some dudes getting crushed. That's funny. Okay, I've run out of actual infantry, so... Tick tanks! They just... They, they knew they were onto a good thing. What can I say? Reading orders. Oh, these. Okay, these are actually enemy units, not random civilian vehicles. I'm just massacring. Oh, I guess they're maybe they're called tick tanks because they like latch into the ground like a tick. That would be funny. Okay, you guys are going yes, across here. That's fine. Awaiting orders. Um, I can't make like a service yeah, depot here, can I? No. And having real 3D terrain in this game is trippy. Yeah, there it is. Oh my god, it really does just like dig into the ground. That's so cool. Um, I'm just gonna go, actually. No, don't blow up the bridge. That's probably really annoying. Okay, just go, go, before another dude turns up. Oh, they have loot. Oh, don't worry. I was always going to destroy them either way. Not paying attention to exactly what my units are doing. I am just attacking things. If you're expecting Grandmaster level gameplay, you're in the wrong place. All I have going for me is um, stubbornness. Am I still at three medics? I am. Good. Okay, the medics work really efficiently, it seems. Honestly, that is kind of what I think, what I thought from what I've looked at of... I mean, I, I tried, like, a couple of token matches of, uh... Okay, that is a tech center, so I need to not destroy it. I'm gonna save, just in case I fuck something up. Um, I played, like, a couple of Tiberian Dawn multiplayer online matches. Um, but... Uh, they seemed, like, fine. Um, I did get a lot of, like, Europe. The guy just made, like, 20 nod buggies in the first five minutes, and now I'm dead games, and a few other... Okay, I should probably actually pay attention to these guys. Uh, a few other... Oh, I made five engineers and captured your whole base um, games and just lose, lost, so that was also fun. But mostly, um, 
I'm not like super into the idea of playing a game that I would need to spend loads of time on to get good at if I'm not going to do that. If that makes sense. Um, where the heck is my engineer? Oh, he's he's not made. That's why. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was definitely like a, a balancing thing they did not account for in Tiberian Dawn. I've got to say, while, while Nod definitely have like the energy going for, say, their they're like barracks equivalent. The hand of Nod is definitely a piece of design. This tech center literally looks like a, like a, a sloppy shit. Like this, this just looks like a Moobeast has left its leavings on the ground, you know. And there's like chunks in it of something that you can't quite identify. They needed to put in a little more effort. Is Tiberian Wars like CNC3 or is it uh, a sort of side game? Oh wow, did the Ti did the refinery like leave a bunch of Tiberium on the ground? That's cool. That's a nice detail. I like that. I thought CNC4 existed. Oh my god, the engineers are Scottish. Oh, and units like level up in this game as well. I was like, why does this guy have a pause symbol on him? But it's not that. It's um it's like a rank upgrade thing. That's cool. Okay, I was aware it was controversial. Um, yes, I I see. I see now. I'm definitely not above at least trying to stream less than perfectly well received games. It's the forbidden I know no, don't worry, I know I I get it. <laughs> I know the vibe. Are you trying to run me over? Come on, get it! Oh wow! <laughs> They definitely make sure you know that your guys have been run over. Yeah, like, I'm aware of it. I was mentioning this a little earlier, but they tried the bold move of just not having base building, um, which is an avant-garde approach, let's put it that way. What is this? Is this a radar thing? And like, respect for the attempt, whichever way it goes, but also that is the part of these games that people actually like. Okay, I'm gonna actually just set up some refineries here because I need more money. And I have a building here now anyway. Um, wow, you have cleared it out. Fuck. This Tiberium Riparius is going to have to work overtime. Um, so now i got to find... got to find the other tech center because there's going to be at least one, isn't there? Oh yeah, the force move command. That 
I wasn't sure if that still worked. Although, to be fair, Titans are, like, super slow, so... I wasn't sure that it would be worth it. But I should have been trying to do that on those dudes, you are right. Yeah, that's... Oh, come on, do it. Oh, wow, he just let me. Okay. Too used to the Tiberian Dawn AI just... Making it just just running away from you too much. It's not worth it. It's just funny. So you mean it's worth it? Also, can I go through this tunnel? This is what this is implying to me. Are they coming out somewhere or? Okay, they did. I was like, have my guys just been lost? But no, they... Okay, I am kind of getting my ass kicked here. Um, maybe... Okay, never mind, all my guys are dead. <laughs> I should say I'm not that surprised. Yeah, those laser turrets kind of kicked my ass, but I have a plan. What are these walls made of? Yep, no, don't worry, I can absolutely see what I'm supposed to do here. Insufficient funds. Okay, I do have my other refinery ready. Sir. Sir. Sir? On my way. Oh, there's even some blue Tiberium here. Hoggers. Oh, no, I get what you're saying. I could have gone around. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, there'll only be one left when I'm done with it, so that's fine. Uh, okay, they're, they're getting through it. Nice. Um... You know what, I am going to make another barracks over here. Since this is where I need you. Well, you know what, no. Training. Building. No, no, I did figure out what you meant. Like, I was meant to go along the low ground here. Um, and, like, this is destructible. Yeah, that's what I thought. And that turns it... Okay, turned it into a path. Don't worry, I got you. I just saw an alternative route. Um, and respect, yeah, no. I appreciate, like, a little bit of guidance, but... Um, Definitely just like a, a normal amount. Yeah, yeah. I just happened to take the long way around because I got fixated on one route. Although this might give me an easier time getting round now with these guys. Oh, hang on. I think I have to... Yeah, this doesn't lead anywhere. What the hell were they guarding then? There is indeed nothing here, right? Can I get through here? Is the real question. Looks like I can by the way these guys are going. There might also be stuff down here. Waiting order. Got it. You got it. Loud and clear. Sir, you got yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Waiting order. Um, let's training. Do I have one guy here? I do. Just make sure there's nothing down this way. It looks like this is nothing. Yeah. That's a pity. Unless there is something up here. But I don't think there is. I think the stuff I need to do is like here or in the northeast. So basically everywhere I haven't gone. Okay, you can still go through here. It's fine. 
Okay, I do still have my other NG. It's kind of... I was thinking that when I was going to capture this, I was going to have to do the pre-damaging thing that Red Alert makes you do. But apparently they have not learned the lesson from that game, that that is not a balanced mechanic on any level. But I respect it. Oh, hello. We have found the thing. Okay, let's not... Yeah, God, they just... The ticks just dig themselves into the ground. That's so funny. I don't think you have the range. Yeah, that's, that's too much. Stay back until the other guys arrive. So there's presumably going to be a tech center. And this is a screen ship. I like how they spoil the name of it in the tooltip. In the, like, hover tooltip. That's funny. Like, the law has not actually exposed what they're called. But, um, we get to find out. So I just have to... Uh, locate the crash site. Capture any nod technology centers. Cool. Okay, so there might actually still be something up to the northeast. Slightly irksome. I'll just send one guy to scout. And just make cheap units to... Cheap and faster units. Oh, piss off. Yeah, I also figured that was probably the case. What I found interesting, like replaying Tiberian Dawn, is that they have the Tiberium set up as this like massive plot thing, but they don't. They really don't like do anything with it in that game. It is really just all set up for the future. Because, like, Tiberian Dawn would be the same story if it wasn't Tiberium, if it was just, you know, ore. And Kane was just, like, a guy who wants to rule the world. But apparently they, they either, like, went too ambitious with their lore ideas in that game and just got lucky that they got to actually explore it in a series they weren't sure was going to exist. Or they were super confident that they were onto something. Um, I wanted to take you out of the control group. Yes, this, this is also things that I have heard. Oh, that's it. Oh, flashbang! I'm sorry! <laughs> Cutscene volume is still low. Nice, nice. I love Star Wars. Yep, there we go. Crash again. Oh god, when did I last save? <laughs> god damn it. Oh, I think it was a while since I saved too. But at least I know what I have to do now. At least I had saved at all. This is, this is the experience. <laughs> Like, I was wondering if this was something... Yeah, CNC Renegade is like the... Is that the first person... Sh is that a first person shooter or is that something else? Okay, yeah, I just have to suck it up and deal with this shit. Yes, that's what I thought. 
I also learned in double checking like what the the like the whole series was that there's like an actual lost like essentially MOBA before MOBAs were a thing even slightly. I forget what it was called exactly. Um, Soul Survivor. Commander Conquer Soul Survivor. Like, I had never heard of it before. It, it never gets acknowledged. But, yeah, yeah. And, like, it, it sounds like you pick a unit to be, and you just are that unit. So, it, it is like Dota or Warcraft 3. Presumably before those were things, which is kind of insane. Okay, actually kill these guys. At least this time I don't have to spend half an hour. Yes, yeah. Um, but it is just funny to think that there, there is a lost Command and Conquer game at all. Like, what a what a world we live in. Oh, true, yeah. I mean, I say true like I know. It's not like there's tons of information on this game that I learned existed, like, yesterday. Okay, at least I can do this quickly now. You do your job. Complete. At least I don't have to come up with an actual bespoke name for every save I make now. That's Sir. a small blessing. Medic reporting. Unit ready. Sir? Sir? Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Training. I know I don't have anything to do with any more units I make, Unit but... Ready. Nervous fingers Unit demand ready. that I continue clicking. Training. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Construction yes, sir. complete. Speaking of lost CNC yes, content, sir. I didn't know that Tiberian Dawn had an equivalent to Red Alert some um, giant ant missions until I did some digging. Um, I'm kind of planning at some point. I, I've, I've streamed. The, the the Tiberian Dawn and Red Alert campaigns, like, as of last week, pretty much. Um, and I am undecided on how much I want to stream of, like, the ancillary missions. Um, like, I've done all of the extra Tiberian Dawn, like, side missions, like the... Um, the expansion missions and the PlayStation missions, um, but they're like, I was doing that more for my own completionism's sake, uh, they're kind of boring, so I felt okay not streaming them, but I might stream the dinosaur missions, just like I want to go back to Red Alert and stream the giant ant missions, and maybe the Counter-Strike and Aftermath missions, because they're a bit more involved than... Yeah, I forgot. I just have to hope. Okay, it looks like we're good. Um, but, uh... Because, like, in... The, the, the TD expansion missions are kind of dry. You get, like, one new unit, maybe, in each one. But, um... Counter-Strike gives you tons of stuff. Are we talking aliens here, sir? The sooner we get inside that thing, the sooner we'll know what the hell we're talking about. That UFO's got secrets, Mac. Secrets Kane does not want to share. Protect that crap at all costs. Solomon's actor... 8. Like, for real, he is... having a great time. Be advised, the Brotherhood will attempt to destroy the impact site. 
GDI reinforcements are en route. Protect the site until they arrive. Okay. Defense mission. First. Okay, what's the shape of this? Thank you. Good to good to have you here. And I hope to see you again. Okay, we've got actual base defenses now. Okay, I respect a hard base defense mission. Oh, they already destroyed my shit. Oh, shit. What the? Oh, okay, they are just... Oh, God, there's like... Oh, God, okay. What does an ion storm do for me? Can you... Okay, you can repair things, but... Oh, God. I don't want to be here. Like, at all. Okay, engineers do have the, f the instant repair function, but... I'm not sure how happy I am about this. Oh, I do have two... What is this? Water purifier? Can I kill these? Ugh. Okay, let's see how hard this really is. It's kind of cool that units actually get shadowed when they're under like a bridge. Did Tiberium just drop on this guy's head? It's kind of hard if he did. If it did, it kinda sucks that I can't build anything. Can I get to these guys? Here is the question. Looks like it. Okay, yeah, it is the same. Oh fuck! Where did you come from? Oh my god, the drill thingies! I vaguely remember this. They have like drill transports. Also, didn't that cutscene just say that like there was there was C4 under or inside this? And it just didn't scratch it, so why are we worrying about a bunch of small arms fire? Come on. Okay, I can't. Oh, God. There's a lot going on here. Oh, God, there's a lot going on here. Also, it's uh, technically incorrect to call it a UF. I should not come out here. Oh shit! To call it a UFO when it's this this shit is not flying. Come on. I feel like this animation is bugged. Is it just me? Yeah, this mole thingy is the nod has. Okay, let's see if I get like a the massive Zerg rush right at the end. Still give me money to repair these, but still. Yeah, I think I should take out these myself, you guys. Oh, the Ion Storm means I don't get radar. Maybe I should have sold the radar. You know what, if it distracts these fuckers, I'll take it. I should, yeah, I shouldn't have sent those guys out to stop them. That was a blunder. How did I just realize that I have... I was so fixated on not having buildings that I forgot that I could make men. Engineers died at some point. Whatever, we'll deal. Sir? Sir? 
look, it's I'm not at my best ever. Um, I am stupid. My brain is very small. Okay, this wasn't that hard. Maybe maybe Tomahawk was talking about like playing on actual hard difficulty. Did I just get lightning struck? Oh god, there's a lot of men. But I also have a lot of men. Whoa, uh, suddenly the screen isn't piss colored. What the fuck? That's a whole ass flame tank. Okay, you. They are all inning. Oh god, but so am I. No, what? Oh my god. I was not paying attention. Well, I I hate it when um, non-specific nod victory. Destroy this. Yes, okay, good. I'm just gonna leave these to die. Iron Storm incoming! Just sequester my engineers away. You can't, like, repair the screen ship. tell if that sail went through. I got the guys out of it, but I don't know if I got the money, you know. Looks like you do still get lowered production speed on low power in this game. I at least have two medics on each team, right? No, I think there's only one for this one. Now I've actually realized at the start of the mission that I can make units. This should be easier. I'm going to send those guys to intercept the moles. Right on time. Oh, hello, there were two of them. How much do these cost? Three. 600! I mean, they are really efficient. Yeah, look, they even move to heal your guys. What more could you ask for? than I need, to be honest. Two here. Two here. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Orders. I mean, two medics per team is fine. Orders. I've got a bit of money left over for repairs. Four we should be good this time. These lumbering fools. Uh, 
Man, they do take a lot of punishment, though. Yeah, I'm just not able to build up a picture, though, like, of how much of this game I have I actually remember. Again, some random Tiberium over here. What's that about? Oh, I think it's from the, the cyborgs. They're like Tiberium powered or something. Oh yes, I love free money. I love money that I can't do anything with. Well, I love, no, I love, I can do things with the money. I can't do anything with this Tiberium on the floor. Are the engineers just here for, oh, they can repair the ship. Ready. Yeah, because I... Oh, that's funny. Okay. I'm gonna make a quick change to some... First, I'm gonna save, in case I crash again. Um, change to some hot keys, because it's a Occurring to me that I'm used to repair mode. Actually, if it's just. Um, is there a cell mode toggle? There is. Okay. No, Shift S. And Shift R. Um. And if that's the case, I'm going to put waypoint mode on shift W. There we go. Yeah, that's cell. And that's repair. And that's waypoint. Waypoint mode in this game is weird. I was kind of hoping for a StarCraft style, like, just shift click and it makes waypoints for units, but apparently you have to set up like this, and then attack, move your units onto the waypoints and they'll follow them. But, and you are and kind of horny for this. Sacrifice yourself, Scottish man. Oh, these are... No, these are my medics. Okay, done. Got him. We crash in again? Is that the speed of things? Oh, that's that fucked up flame tank thing, isn't it? Yeah. Audio is still unbalanced. Yep. <laughs> Good thing I saved! Christ. I guess... I guess we crash if those cutscenes play through. I'm tempted to fuck with the sound again. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with it after this stream if I deal with it at all. Uh, why, why is audio hard? Why can't things just be the same volume? You know. Uh, okay, yeah, this was like 20 seconds before the end of the mission. We are... We are good. And you come up here, so I'm gonna... Make sure that area is covered. Don't... Kill my guys. Oh, I guess my dropships come right where that flame tank goes. Tick tanks. Get tanked. 
get dunked. All right. Yeah, so it seems that if we watch a cutscene, a, a pre-rendered cutscene to its conclusion, we crash. Which just means I need to make sure I save before I finish a mission. We can deal with that. A post-mission cutscene, rather, before the results screen. Stay alert, people. Just because the lights are up doesn't mean nobody's home. That describes me. This is some crazy technology. You getting this genre? Recording the whole thing, sir. Looks like Vegas boys cleaned it out. What? Bad for a blunt. You China. My name's Thumagon, and you better use it. Unless you want your head cut off. I don't. I can help you. I can help you find Vega. Vega? The Brotherhood holds our leader, Travis, in a highly secured medical colony south of here. We don't have the resources to break him out without you. But you can't find Vega without us. Why should I trust you? Unlike you blunts, blunts. the Forgotten are a people of honor. They went very quickly from I am trying to kill you to let's I work together. To the location of the Nod prison camp. An array of sensor towers has been installed around the perimeter. If we don't take that array out first, they'll know we're coming. Tratus will be killed. Ava, give us an approach assessment. God, the volume difference. In my defense as well, the voice, the, the audio balancing within the cutscenes is kind of bad. Like, the, the ambient sound is loud compared to the in-cutscene voices. Okay, a sensor net protects the valley where Trotos is being held. To facilitate his rescue, we must disable the array that controls this highly sensitive net. Once down, it will be much easier to get Trotos out of the valley. Trotos is being held in a hospital prison facility within this sector. Avoid detection and rescue Trotos from the facility. Once he is out, a transport will be sent in to evacuate him. One. A sensor net protects the valley where Trotos is being held. I don't fancy to a facilitate his mission, rescue, we must disable the array that controls this highly sensitive net. Once down, it will be much easier to get Trotos out of the valley. If I had some way to control, like, the OBS audio levels without tabbing out, it would be easier for me to just make things louder for you guys on the cutscenes, but, like, to tab out, it, like, freezes the game, and it has to reset all my resolutions and stuff, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to do this. Go for the indirect approach this time. Okay. So, what is it I have to do? Destroy the three relay stations and the radar array. Okay. Oh, it's nice that I get. I wish it were a bit clearer which of these is my medic. It's nice that we get radar here despite not having an actual like base with a radar nice consideration of them so i just have to destroy them right yeah okay i don't have to like have an engineer and then capture them or anything elaborate like that i should just get into the habit of saving at the beginning of missions as well as well it seems that we crash on the at the end of the fmvs it's not impossible that at some point I'll have a crash just randomly. So, once again, this is save scumming the game, but for different reasons. It is not that the game itself is frustratingly designed, but rather... Also, that went hard as hell, but rather that the game is poorly programmed. Or at least... This fan made port of it is. Got it. Loud and critters don't look too friendly. 
Oh shit. Tiberian Fiend. Yeah, yeah I'm not fucking with that. Yeah, let's go. Fuck him up. Okay, he's having an altercation with the fiend. Wait, is it not attacking him? So either Tiberian fiends do not actually attack, or they do not attack enemies, because they weren't programmed quite right. But I am not going to stop him. He's probably taking damage from the Tiberium as well. I've seen this shit in skirmish maps, but I don't know if it damages you or anything. Oh, fuck. Get around this way. Um, I don't think I can. Wait, how did you get down here? Let me just, is this destructible? No. Uh, I'm just going to make sure there isn't a way around. Ooh, hello. Give me a heal. Oh, that's a guy. Nice. Okay, it looks like maybe I can go around. That's good. Oh, they heal when they're on Tiberium. That's why it's taking him so long. I mean, is Tiberium really bad if it gives you, like, these cute little dogs? Oh, wait, maybe I can't. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're going around the long way here. Okay, but the gunfire is getting annoying. I might just put this guy out of his misery. And also see if these Tiberian fiends are going to fuck me up. Okay, let's see. Oh, God! Okay, well, we learned a thing. I'm going to let them finish me off. Fuck me! So they just weren't programmed properly to um, attack enemy units. That's funny. Jesus, I wasn't expecting them to do that much damage. Christ. Or to have projectiles for that matter. Okay, maybe Tiberium is actually bad. Um, right. Wait, there were whole extra units here that I didn't see. Oh, well, now that... This is all sorts of fucked up. Oh, this was, like, supposed to happen. That's hysterical. Also, why are they giving me vision? Oh, holy fuck. They are going absolutely ham. Maybe Tiberium is good, actually. Okay, where are you going? Don't come back this way, please. Fuck, that's so funny. 
me. Why did this not happen last time? They can die, though. Strong as they are. Okay, I'm going to not antagonize you regardless of you being on very low HP. Are you healing? You are. Christ. Maybe they just heal from... from loafing. Who knows? I still don't know how to get around here. Ugh. Okay, let's 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 go find out together. units or just the ones that were nearby haven't really got a way to tell okay maybe I can't go around on this level but maybe the very low ground nope I guess I do have to go this way So, it does seem like the walkers are a GDI thing and not a nod thing, which is an interesting little bit of flavor, which I am a fan of. Okay, you're distracting those guys. It's a nice little bit of mission design, to be honest. You get introduced to these very dangerous critters, but also with them fucking up your enemies. Severely. Okay, I can get around this way. I heard another drill, bitch. Do not do this. You're getting cons disconcertingly close to that laser beam. I'm assuming that that's like a... Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, okay. So that shit, like, wrecks mechanical units. I get it. Are you gonna attack those? Is it that, like, Tiberium kills organic units and... the... magma blocks kill mechanical units? Okay, I'm kind of eating shit here. Um, I might be a bitch and reload, but we'll see. Just because I took a lot of damage and lost both Titans. And why did my guys blow up? Ah, oh, tell me that. Okay, we get reinforcements. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Infantry reporting. I'm going to see if I can kill this. Whoa, what the fuck? Getting those extra, that extra medic is nice because it means that they can heal each other. Okay, let's see if I can just kill this. No fear. Curious how much damage these fart clouds do. That did kill it. Loud and clear. Moving out. Moving out. 
Uh, how much damage can it be? Oh, they're not. It's not damaging at all, apparently. Or maybe it is. Okay, I don't quite get the hitboxes on these, but it's fine. Infantry reporting. Looks like the stuff recedes at least. Okay, you're just slow. <laughs> Infantry reporting. I was trying to think of the Star Wars creature that, that is like this, but I couldn't remember. I don't even know what a Star War is. Awaiting order. Awaiting order. I'm just gonna wait for them to heal up fully, actually. Yes, sir. Give me some room. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got it. All right. So there's base down here. Actually, you know what? There's not an objective there, so I shouldn't bother. You got it. <laughs> um, there is one over here, so I will have to go through that laser cannon at some point. The most annoying thing about the fact that this game has, like, all different resolutions is that it messes up the location of my floating windows in OBS. So I can't see the parts of things that I usually can. Oh, God. Why? No, maybe I'm not supposed to fight this, but let's find out. I got two medics, they can't fucking kill me. I'm on it. Unit boss. Okay, maybe they can. Unit boss. Infantry reporting. Don't know why I'm attacking that instead of the gate. Maybe I'm hoping it'll take down more of the door. And ha while having less HP. It's probably not true. Those things have range. They really are siege tanks. Okay, hemorrhaging guys here, but it's fine. Oh god, okay, never mind. That was too much. I'm scared. antagonize the beast this time. Not because I can't take it, but because there's no point. Um, I am going to wait for these guys to gather and heal up, though. Oh, that Tiberium is spreading as well from where the other fiend died. Yeah, so it doesn't necessarily need the Riparius to spread. Is this a normal tree that's going to soon be a Tiberium tree? Hmm. It's a nice flavor to have these civilian dwellings around as well. Like this, like it's subterranean for protection from the hazardous environment, and this is a greenhouse because Infantry. ecological collapse, and you've got to get food somehow. Like this shit's probably not edible, right? Reminds me a little bit of Outpost, I think. Which is what I realized is the, the Blight is Approaching game. Which is another one I want to... That one, it's old enough that it might turn out to be quite boring. Um, but focusing down, my guys, that I can't heal. Um, but it's a game I might at some point play for like just one stream. Um, and see if... God, do you take damage from the flying shrapnel? Because I swear I saw this guy, like, drop to low health after that turret died. Which is cool, but it's also bullshit. Um, this base is probably just to tempt me, right? Um... Okay... I think 
the greater concentration of guys here makes me think I'm meant to take that on last after I get more reinforcements. So let's see if I can skirt around it. Man. No wonder StarCraft 2 had those fucking destructible rocks, right? Because I'm pretty sure Dustin Browder was a CNC guy before Blizzard brought him on. Oh, hello, there's a base here. You know what would have been really based if you'd given me engineers? Oh, okay, so Nod do get advanced power plants because they don't have the modular stuff that GDI does. I get it. Figuring things out. Come on, stop repairing. It's just annoying. Actually, take out the guy. Yeah, those guys are just bullet sponges. It looks like I go up here and then along. No! Oh, maybe... This is maybe cope, but perhaps if you take out all these power plants, it disables their laser turrets. We could get more guys to level up. I wish I knew what exactly the difference was. Maybe we can tell. It doesn't seem to be attack speed. It could be damage. I'm not doing it in the correct increments to tell. Or big enough increments, rather. Um, okay, doesn't, I'm no longer sure how I get up there, but once more, let's find out together. Man, that is spreading. Uh, taint this way. Guess I have to go in here. Okay, so they do count. They are, like, just in there. I was wondering if, like, when you command them to go into one of these tunnels, they sort of disappear and then are made to reappear on the other end, but they are still present. Just underground. I mean, you've got to let me up round this way, right? Come on. Don't be difficult. How do I get up there? I don't tell- no, no, it's not that way. Oh, but this is an easier way into that base. It's a pity that you only level up from acts of violence. Like, why can't a medic, medic level up if he if he heals enough guys, you know? Okay, you're all healed, right? Good. Yeah, good. Okay, we haven't aggroed the man. Yes, sir. Come on, you didn't need to lose the unit over that. Okay, this man is slow.
it's nice that medics have like a bit more range that they detect injured units in. They will like walk over to a guy who's hurting and heal him up. So they don't need quite so much micromanagement. God, you are vexing me though. These things have good range. The, the little um, Geneva Convention... Wait, what does this do? The Geneva Convention violation sign does not... Um, is not placed in a good position to tell them apart in a crowd. It just occurred to me that there's like another thing I could change a hotkey on. Bear with me. Um, also, hang on for a second. Um... It was like a guard mode thing, right? Waypoint mode. Oh god, okay. Oh, it is just G. So what does that do? Oh, it's just a command, okay. So presumably that's a little bit like hold position, but maybe they will move out of that exact spot to guard their area, I don't know. You do not take unnecessary damage, please. I think I can... It does seem like I have to go through that fortified position. Uh, oh, maybe not, actually. Okay, I think I see what I can do. Stop shooting at me! Just like being back at school. Like, I can go the long way around and go up here to this. And it might be worth it because I don't know if I can cost efficiently get break through this. Oh, my guys are getting. I'm getting their little uh, pause buttons, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bitch mode this. Sowie. Oh, but that said, I do have to at some point figure out how to break, get to this. That fiend is fully healed since a while ago, too. Ooh, there's a truck here. What is actually emitting this red light if the buildings are gone? Like, it's cool, but yes, what's the logic? I don't, I don't know that I understand. I'm gonna go... It's probably just gonna be a heal. Actually... Definitely is. It's a pity I lost all my mechanical units there to the stupid magma blocks. Yeah, it is. I should have saved that, really. Well, if I if I eat shit trying to skirt past this, which is what I'm going to try to do, then I can reload and go back and use that um, heal afterwards if I need it. Well, we'll see. Like, I, because I only have infantry and I have two medics, technically I can just heal infinitely. I could, if I want to be really cheesy sit one dude next to that crate and 
take the heal in the middle of combat. I think that's maybe asking for a lot, though. Okay, I was worried that I could not get... That I would have to go close enough to take damage from this, but it looks like I can entirely circumvent it if I choose. Unless... Ugh, God, I may have done this in the wrong order. I think I see... Because I think to get to this one, I have to go through here and, like, along this path. Oh, I'm going to lose the dude. That wasn't good. Don't like that I'm losing men. Losing multiple men. Why am I losing so many guys? Okay, get in a position where you can actually hit the thing. If I get more reinforcements after this, I will just try with what I have. If not, I might reload. Okay, I do get more reinforcements. It's not a lot, but it's not nothing, you know? Okay, there is a, there is a Titan. Let's see if I can not squander this one. Oh, he's going to take off and... Okay. Okay, you're going to see how fast fast is. That, like... Who... Why did they make the fast game... The fastest game speed that fast? I do not understand. Also, I know I lost one guy and I don't know why. Like, that game speed feels like... This this game was made to run at like 15 FPS and Sir. cannot handle modern Sir. and was not like properly made to handle modern 120 FPS refresh rates, you know? Yes, sir. Oh my god, I think my medics are dead. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we're going to make do with what we've got. Unit reporting. And clear. Sir. Yes, sir. Unit ready. These are sir. pretty like... If, for these Sir, being 3D models, which I presume they are, like real ones, it. not pre-rendered sprites, they're pretty it. high detail you for how ready. small they are. Oh, I didn't get all of the things anyway, huh? Sir. Yeah, where did my medics die? That's vexing. I'm sure it's fine, though. Also, it doesn't... Oh, no. I have to go past the fiend. Okay, maybe I get more reinforcements after this. Just kill it, please. Nope, I do not get more reinforcements. Ugh! I'm doing this so inefficiently, I'm so sorry! Okay, here's what's here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna change the game speed again. Moving out. You got it. Like that that's whoever thought that that was a game. Maybe fastest just means like uncapped. Um, it's like an uncapped FPS thing. I'm gonna overwrite that. Save. Okay, can I get past this fiend without making it angry? Because I think it will just kill me. <laughs> Looks like we're safe. Okay, I think we're fine. It's just some poultry resistance here. Unit lost, tell someone who cares. Because it ain't me. 
I will once again save right before the end of the mission because I think we've figured out the pattern here. Oh, hi. Oh, that guy's as a star. Why are you killing me so good? Okay, there's another reason to save, apparently. Fuck me. I was expecting to just be able to plow through, but no. Uh... Saves also... Loads also take a while sometimes. Okay, they're getting distracted. Let them do that. Okay, I think we should have it this time. Probably just to take. It. Yeah, they're distracted by this energy transformer. I thought it. I thought it was a church. Nice. Okay, I think we're good. I like this farty BGM as well. This is like Toad BGM. Okay, flashbang again, so we're gonna crash. Didn't even start the cutscene that time. I really don't want to have to go and check whether the Steam release of this crashes or not. So I'm not going to. We're going to continue like this. Maybe the Firestorm expansion will be better. And it looks like I, given the way it's, it's not just like extra missions in a mission select, it's like a whole extra selector here. I think I will probably stream Firestorm. I also have no context for what Firestorm involves, but if it's more story, then I think I kind of have to. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it looks like, so it looks like it's, maybe it's not the cutscenes, maybe it's like the resolution switch to the results screen that does it. It's weird. Okay, I could go another. In a hospital prison facility within this sector. Oh, I thought maybe doing this mission. Oh, wow. Okay, so it actually is as advertised. This one just makes this one easier. Okay, but I think I am going to call it a night there, uh, just because I'm kind of tired. Um, my. Ooh. The medical facility is located to the west. We must get Trados out of that facility. But try to be subtle. If we're detected, he's as good as dead. Whoa. You talking to me? You talking to me? Give me a target. What? What? This is too easy. Okay. Is Uma gone that lady in the cutscene? Sounds like the same voice. Fuck me. Whoa! Okay. That's... <laughs> I was kind of thinking, like, is that a rail gun that just kills everything in its way? Because that goes hard. I just figure I might as well get a picture of what these units do. Stand by. What do you do? Four on the floor. Cool. Hit it. Cool. What do you want? Need a ride? To me? He doesn't have an attack. Okay, if I kill you. Yes. You talk okay. Okay, anyway, I said I was going to stop there, and I'm going to stop there. Um, Need a ride? I'll save. Um, so, if you're here, thank you. Um, Battle control offline. It seems I haven't... Like, I would remember that mission. If you get, like, three unique characters. Why would I have not have... Maybe... 
So I mentioned before that if I have played Tiberian Sun before, it will have been as part of the first decade um, collection, which is like famously buggy. And I've mentioned that uh, I remember Red Alert 2 crashing consistently on the first mission, so I never really played that. But maybe Tiberian Sun also crashed a bunch. So that's why I haven't played more than just like a teeny tiny weeny bit of it that's funny though um but honestly i'm kind of glad to know that i am actually playing something new here that that i have genuinely not seen before and haven't just memory hold so finally you're experiencing something new on this channel Woo! um anyway what am i doing wednesday Okay, so I may, it may be that my D&D &D group starts up again on Wednesday. If that's the case, I won't be streaming, obviously. But if not, um, yeah, I, I, weirdly, I have it in my head. I, I kind of want to play, um, A Hat in Time. I can't remember why that game is in my mind again, but, um, I think I might save that for later. I want to... I want to have to just play something for like one or two streams and then go back to Terraria. So on Wednesday, I think I might play Balatro, <laughs> which is going to amuse my Discord server. Not my Discord server, but I don't have, by the way, I don't have one yet. Um, I'm saving that for when I actually have viewers. Um, rather the friends on the Discord server that I, a Discord server that I am on who are obsessed with this game which will be a nice little one time have some fun stream and then I can finally get back to Terraria after a little sabbatical and also I'll see if I can figure out this audio bullshit in this game in the meantime but I promise nothing uh, anyway have a good night I'm so glad I'm not on jury service anymore I never want to fucking do that shit again not even just the process, but like the end result. Like, I probably won't talk about it anymore on this stream. Even though I am legally allowed to now, but just... <sighs> I should say that I think not all of us, even though we reached a unanimous verdict, not all of us were happy about it. But, um, no, no more bad vibes. I hope you have a lovely evening, or day or morning, depending on where you are, and I'll speak to you later. Have a good one, and goodbye. There, there is a tremendous amount of songs about eating. It's a favorite to topic of kids' songs, <laughs> and really, just singing them makes me hungry, uh, mm -hmm. as long as they're not eels, mm -hmm. and... Uh, but you know, you know the peanut butter sandwich song, and there's there's uh, you know eels, and there's uh, fish bones, and all sorts of yummy things that <laughs> that uh, the kids just love to get their fingers into and stick into their 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 mouths. So, oh, this is a song. Oh, there's another. Yeah, this is another really juicy tidbit that I'm sure most of you have tried at some point during your life. I know I have. By mistake. <laughs> Nobody likes me, everybody hates me, I think I'll go eat worms. Great big juicy ones, eeny weeny squeeny ones, see how they wiggle and squirm. Cut off their heads and suck out the juice and throw all their skins away. Nobody knows how I survive on worms three times a day. Nobody likes me, everybody hates me, I think I'll go eat worms. Great big juicy ones, eeny weeny squeeny ones, see how they wiggle and squirm. Bite off their heads and suck out their juice and throw all their skins away. And nobody knows how I survive on worms three times a day. You must have supper with us sometime, really, it's an experience. Dare 
are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms.